like I remember like reading, you know, one of Gabe's or, you know, one of Jack's tweets. I was like, bro, like just, I just hit me to the core. I was like, dang, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm a, I'm really, I'm a loser now here, bro. That's what, that's like how, mm-hmm. what, what I felt like. And, you know, but I remember, you know, just this, um, this time at my psychiatry, my, my psychiatry appointment, you know, basically, you know, how it went, like, I was just basically just complaining to him. It's like, oh my God, like I wasted my life. Like da, 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 da. I'm only 20, I'm, I'm 24 and I've done nothing for 24 years. Like that was my mindset. And, you know, he took me, you know, and, I, and it's crazy because I wasn't, um, you know, listening to anything, you know, about the Bible at that time. But right. um, very just, you know, in and out of the things. And he, he told me just to, he told me the story. Um, you know, it's, a, it's in John 5, you know, verses 1 to 15. It was basically just paraphrasing uh, the healing, you know, of the pool. You know, there was this, you know, beggar. I'm a beggar, but uh, this this very sick person, you know, that was, you know, waiting for, for you know, waiting to be healed. And he thought the pool was going to heal him. Jesus came and, and was like, hey do you want to be healed? Like, do you act like he asked, like, do you want to be healed? And he was like, yes. And he was like, take up your man and walk. Um, but like with the distinction um, that the therapist um, told me, a psychiatrist told me was that like, listen, like this guy has been living there for, for, you know, for 37 years, not moving, you know, Jesus came, you know, healed him. And now he's walking, you know, with a mm. purpose, like, think about that. And like, oh. that really just struck me, you know, because five days prior, I remember my dad just, you know, telling me, it's like yeah, telling me the exact same verse, you know, so, and I wasn't listening to any verses at the time, but right, yeah. Cause you kind of, reason, reason, like, I don't want to yeah, hear anything. Yeah. I don't want to hear anything, but, but, but for some reason, those, that, that, you know, that story, you know, verses one through 15 just stuck like a, like, 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 you know, like glue. And you know, I remember um, looking at, looking, you know, over Twitter, you know, just, you know, just crying. And, you know, I saw one of, um, you know, Jack's tweet, like Jack's tweets and, you know, under it, like I said, like I'm looking for people that want to, you know, uh, you know, change their life, you know, you know, get, get, you know, get their body, like lose, like lose weight. And I was, you know, I was, I was looking at my, you know, my, my stomach with all my rolls. I was like, man, like this is, uh, this got to change, man. And I, and I really just can't, couldn't do it alone because, um, you know, 2021, I, I would try and I was like, dude, like, what's the point? Like, honestly, like, what is the point of me doing all this? And, you know, so I, w- I like, you know, I, I couldn't keep myself accountable. So, you know, so I went, you know, for help and I sought help. I messaged him, I DM'd him. I was like, hey, man, like, you know, like, I don't remember if you remember me from 2020. We talked back in 2020, you know. Um, he was like, dude, like, I remember. It's like, you know, he's like, yeah, man, what's going on? And then, you know, got in contact with him. You know, I had a conversation with Joey, too, for about 45 minutes. Mm-hmm. Um and, 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 you know, like I was willing to, you know, pay anything, you know, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I, you know, heavily invested into, uh, into finance and investing and, you know, you know, passive income and all that stuff too. And right. you know, I remember that I didn't really just have, I didn't really have, you know, any money, like any cash, like saved up, you know, um, at the time. So I had to like to, to buy the program, like, you know, I had to, I had to sell some stock. I was like, all right, like I, and I oh. never, and I've never, and I never sell, I never sell. I'm, I'm a buying right. old, you know, for the long term. like love me some Warren Buffett. You know, he just. Well, hey, even he sold right. like penny stocks and he sold. Yes, li- li- literally, literally, literally. But he but his principle is always buying and holding. So, you know, I, I sold, you know, I was like, man, like I, I got to I got to you know pay for this. So I, I sold everything. Uh, so I mean, like, I sold, like, not, not, not everything. Uh, but well, I sold, like, like, what percentage did you like, like 80 percent of stuff you should sell? No, 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 not like not like not like crazy, because okay. like I would just I would just sell. I would, I would just hold like 100 percent, you know, so maybe I sold okay. maybe like maybe like. I probably maybe said like maybe like 15, like 10, 15 percent or something like that just to pay for that, just to pay for that. Okay. It's like it's not it's not like a it's not like a big portfolio. It's like I just I, you know, I, I just started. So um, so I so I went and bought that and, you know, I was a little reluctant. You know, I was like, man, like, I don't know. How, I don't know how this is going to change and everything. And, then, you know, literally soon, uh, bro, as soon as I made that decision, as soon as I made, you know, that commitment, like, this is around like April, like April 3rd, April 4th. As soon as I made that commitment, I was like, I was going to do it. I remember I wake, wake up the next day and like, bro everything changed bro like literally everything changed dude like uh-huh. um it's what you call it's what you call like a you know a born again like kind of experience because you know my 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 sorrowfulness like my borderline like just despair you know like you know because i was suffering with despair suicidal right. thoughts like all this stuff like just think like our like multiple suicide letters you know like oh, like very like, aggr- like aggressive with it like aggressive with it uh-huh. um and then you know i went from that you know to just feeling joy you know i went from uh purpose you purposelessness to having a purpose you know mm-hmm. i went for i went from um you know just like just complete like 180 i mean i went i went from like almost borderline, borderline you know, cursing the bible um now 
you know, I can't stop reading it. I can't stop, uh, you know, you know, wanting to uh, to to learn and, and to to understand, you know, to um, to be, you know, in God's word and you know, learning about Him, you know, learning about, you know, you, you know, myself as a believer, as, as a born again Christian, and um, that's just, you know, that's just consumed, you know, my life, man, and um, just you know, complete just a one hundred and eighty, you know, so twenty twenty twenty, so twenty twenty two, um, it was like honestly like the best year of my life because. Um, and actually 2021 was a bit, one of the best years of my life. Cause it was like, it was like a turning point, you know, there's right. something like something needed to change in like that turning point. And then 2022, I just like, just, it went, it went, it went like this and then went like, boom, like that, you know, I oh. went, you know, just, you know, you know, I lost 30 pounds, you know, I, um, uh, yeah, I, I lost around 30 pounds. I, you know, you know, I was, still, I was working with my parents like before. And then, you know, now I'm, you know, I'm taking, you know, bigger, bigger, bigger responsibilities now. Like my, me and my dad helped. I uh, helped my dad, uh, you know, open a second, a second practice, second business. Mm. Um, and now, now, now that's doing well, you know, learning Spanish, like halfway fluent. Um, can't, can't really, you know, like I talk in like phrases, like, right. like, you know, I talk, I talk in like those type of phrases. Um, yeah. You're just but, working on the function right now before you can. Yeah. But like, you know, yeah. just, you know, but, but, yeah. you know, being able to understand, you know, yeah. you know, when, when they speak, like I'm able to, um, nice. you know, started back on Twitter. I got connected back with Ty in, in, in July of 2022 and, you know, now, you know, just, you know, posting content there and, you know, just, you know, working on, you know, little side projects, you know, for me to help and improve the business and scaling. It's just like, bro, like, and then, you know, me like leading Bible studies now, you know, and, you know, it's just, bro, it like literally like 2022 was such a, it was such a, like an explosive year, you know, but I didn't, I, but it wasn't, um I wasn't going to be able to have that year if I didn't, you know, suffer what I went through. Right. Uh, back in 2021. And, you know, it's just, it's just a blessing, you know, it really is just a blessing. So that's just a little bit of, you know, about me. Sorry. You know, it took a little bit long, but no, yeah. Hey, never, never apologize for telling yeah. that story. Never apologize talking about, you know, how you began your journey. Cause so many of us and, you know, being in mental health and just understanding how people really think and feel it's like social media can be such a great thing. It can be such a sure. great thing connecting people. Yeah. But also has its where well, you only see the good parts of people. Yep. Right. You don't see the struggles, the self doubts, and that every one of us goes through on a daily basis and trying to have the mindset of making that decision. Am I going to listen to this thought or not? Mm-hmm. That's big. And I had Nate Norman. I don't know if you follow him on Twitter. Yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, dude is full, full of energy, bro. Full of energy too. Yeah, and he gets me hype. One of the things he discussed was like the gray man. Mm. So like living not in color, like living in this mundane life day to day, you go to work, you come home and that's it. Right. Yep. And, you know, finding time and taking that personal responsibility to go out and do what you want to do, like living yeah. color, connect. And yeah. with men, you know, I know I mentioned this a handful of times, but we're terrible at asking for help. Yeah, you know, we've been time. taught that if you cry, that if you share pain or show any sense of vulnerability, it's a weakness. When really trying to differentiate between what is a weakness and what's vulnerability, exactly, because they're completely oh. separate concepts that get flooded in together like all the time. And it's just like, yeah. no, they're they're different. Yeah, like weakness is just like when you kind of have completely given up, and I mean like completely given up, where you're like, yeah there's maybe like less of a shed of a shed of wanting to get better. Yeah. That's, 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 that's huge. You know, that, that you touch on, like, especially like, you know, the men aspect, cause we're taught to just, you know, be tough, you know, be strong. Like, you know, like there's a statistic that like, I think, um, this is like more women, you know, fall, you know, into depression, you know, but right. more men take their lives. More times more likely men are likely to commit suicide than females. Yeah. Yeah. Literally, you know, so, you know, this just goes to show that, 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 you know, men struggle just as much if not more you know with mental health than um yeah. you know the women and you know and it, it needs to be addressed man and you know like because the thing is like you know even before you know when i and when i worked out and, and you know developed you know that consistency bro like mm -hmm. i was still i was still struggling up here but you know like that like obviously like i i think you know like you know coming out you know of, of what i went through it was that it's that whole mindset thing man yeah. that the like it really just starts in the mind you know, more than anything, you know, before, you know, you, you tackle, you know, a certain task or you tackle working out, like you really have to be in a state of mindset or else like you can, you can lose weight, 
you know, get in shape. And then, you know, then you're back to square one because that mindset never really shifted and never really just, you know, you know, turned into, into something that's, you know, long-term um, that's sustainable. Right. And you need to have, and, and, you need, and you need to have that in order for, for you to have like long lasting results, you know, that's, so it's all, it really just all starts in here. You know, that's what I le really learned the most. Like, you know, I'm, um, you know, I'm about like, you know, back when that accident happened, like I, I you know, I was like one, like one, like 169 and I went down to 150 and then back up to 215. Now I'm down to like, um, you know, 186, 185, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a, I'm a little bit heavier, you know, mm -hmm. but you know, I'm, you know, just, I'm almost just as strong, you know, but the thing is like my mindset, like I feel, you know, I'm way more smarter, way more smarter um, with it, like way more willing to learn, you know, less ego, less e like egotistical. That's, that's the thing, you know, when, when you, when you encounter Jesus, man, like he just like, just, just changes, you know, every little nook and cranny of your entire, you know, entire soul, entire heart, man. Um, and so like, just, you know, going from, you know, a know-it-all attitude to, you know, a student, you know, just learning everything and just not, you know, being, being okay with just learning different things, like, you know, and it's huge. And, but it all, you know, going back to it, it like really just all just starts with the mind. And, and that's, so, that's so important to, to take control of that or else like it'll take control of you. Yeah. And that's really, and truly, if you really want to get to it, it's actually looking at your heart. Because yeah. I know a lot of psychology can, yes, there's different parts of our brain that does help regulate emotions and sure. thoughts and patterns. But a lot of things stem really from the heart. And yeah. that's how we begin to really reflect on ourselves. So if you mm -hmm. look in the mirror and your heart's like not loving yourself, like not caring about yourself, your mind, it's going to travel to your mind. Your mind's just going to be like, you know what? You are worthless. You are dumb. I mean, yeah. Like, oh, my you goodness. Know, you're 24. Yo. What have you done in your life? No, look at look at this guy. This guy's 24. He's scaling a business. He has a huge following. He's living life and he's all happy. Yeah. And well, that's not you. That's okay. crazy. Oh my yeah, because I remember because I remember during those times in 2021, like I remember getting getting up, getting ready for you know for work. You know, as you said, and you know, going back, going back to the gray man, like literally, yeah. like my my life was like, okay, I get up, go to work, come home, eat, sleep. Like literally just you know, I call I call it. You know, people call it the green man. I call it the Walking Dead man. And there's Ooh. like a lot of like a lot of people. You know, just like that they're they're you know they're walking. You know, but they're really just dead inside, bro.